YouTube. What's the word? It's your boy Gangland Neem, aka Neeman. I before the E. Golly, I don't know y'all. Remember that. And we back with another video. So um, we got a little uh, a little recording from the JBP hit maker, aka Youngberg, was on the JBP talking about some shit that happened between him and Diddy. You know what I'm saying? Scandalous business procedures, if you ask me. Um, if this is your first time to the channel, please like, subscribe, comment. I need all that for the algorithm. Thank you. If you're feeling freaky, share it. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're feeling freaky, share it. But, um, yeah, my boy Hitmaker, he's um, he's claiming some crazy shit went on behind the scenes with Diddy. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get into this audio right now. So I uh Puff hit me, he like, yo, I'm doing an R and B album. I need you, you know, you the guy, you know it's gonna be London on the track, you and me, and I think that we should do everything together, blah blah blah. Say less. Send me some joints. I sent him a 10 clip. It's crazy shit. I think Dabble was in it, a bunch of stuff or whatever. And he was like, he hit me back like, man, it feel like like I want I want that, I want that Berg shit. I'm like, stop trying to be me. Like, it sound like you trying to do what I do. Like, niggas send me some yeah, different nigga. shit. Da, 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 da. Get off my dick. So I didn't send him nothing, right? I was uh -huh. like, fuck it. Next thing I know, the nigga reached out. He had, they deciphered my records and reached out to everybody that I collaborated with and dissected me from the situation. So he's calling Cardiac to his house like, you, you need to be one of the hitmen. And this, that, and third. Yeah. Next thing I look up, Eric Billinger is in the Bahamas with motherfucking Puff, and they singing songs together. I'm like, when the fuck? I'm like, Eric Billinger done lived in the fucking L.A. his whole life. Now he with Puff and his shit. Next thing I know, I'm executive producing French Montana album. Why this all happening? The nigga had an album, the intro of the album, my tag was on it. He took my tag out of it, screamed at the intro, did all the shit or whatever. And I was like, damn, this nigga is really diabolical. Like, so I wasn't fucking with him. And then, um, ja, I'm in Mondrian. They still, like, working on the album in Miami. And then he signed, ultimately, Jazzy was also on those demos. So I don't know if he knew Jazzy before, but it was also very surprising to me that now Jazzy is with Puff and this, that, Wait, 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 wait. Jazzy was on some of those demos? Yes. Jazzy's fired, too. Jazzy. Yes, Jazzy's a super talented. Absolutely. Yeah, she's amazing. Miss you, Jazzy. We love you. Yeah, so, and I feel bad for you, Jazzy. You know what I'm saying? Why and you feel bad Because, man, she attached herself to the big homie, and then that, the situation. shit that's going yeah, on. So, this industry is nasty. Stop. Respectfully. All this shit is nasty. So, you gotta stop that. All of that shit that, is disgusting. With that being said, like, I'm like, damn, and it's the second time Puff done did this shit, because, like, when I was a kid, he, when I had Sexy Lady and all them songs, he called me to Daddy's house. He like, man, who producing your records? I'm like, me and my brother Rob Holiday. I signed him. He's doing this shit with me. Next thing I know, he signed Rob Holiday, and it's like in 2008. Mm -hmm. Put that nigga on jets, turned the nigga against me, had him stop working with me, oh, and all shit. type of shit. So this is like a reoccurring type of thing. And then from there, it really hurt even more because now he dissected my records and took it. And I'm in Atlanta, and he had his a and reached out to Tink's manager like, yeah, I think we want Tink on this R&B project, this, that, and the third. I'm like, wait, that what? Been fire. <laughs> so, of course, I was I'm like... Serious, I'm not even joking. Nah, I, Tink I would have been Tink would have been fire on that, bro. I hate, yeah, what I hate do you it. think I, about everything else he's saying, though? Uh, oh, it I, might have been too Rob Holiday. Who knows? I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. That's Bob Holiday. <laughs> and, and then from there, y'all call, call him Rob. Yeah. When, Rob, uh, I would when never speak to that nigga again. Jazzy, Jazzy and Tink album dropped at the same time. Tink's last album, and Tink was number one. And then he called me. He like, nigga, I, you in good company. Jazzy number two, Tink number one. You in good company. I'm like, nigga, you in good company. What the fuck you talking about? I'm number one. What are you talking about? He like, nigga, you don't know the type of money I done spent. Nigga, you ain't going to be in that spot for long. And she, you know, I stayed in that spot, and she didn't. So, yeah, you feel me? Um, You could just tell by them practices. Like, come on, Diddy. That's pretty backhanded, pretty scandalous. You know what I'm saying? The man sent you a 10 clip. Hit maker is just what his name says. A hit maker. You feel me? And he actually produces and gets this shit together. You feel me? He's he's like an orchestrator. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, along with all the other allegations and this, that, and the other, my boy has... Foul business practices now. 
You feel me? That's a whole nother thing. And it's like, yo, shout out to Berg, too, because that man done been through a lot. You feel me? He, at first, he was just the dude with the Optimus Prime chain. Everybody was trying to rob. You feel me? But this is a talented young brother who seems to do good business because he always the cream always rise to the top. You feel me? The, the man always ends back up on top. You know what I'm saying? But shame on Diddy and everything he got going on. But y'all, please. Like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what y'all think down below in the comments. Let me know if y'all think Diddy's business practices, practices is foul or if like, yo, that's just like standard of business in Hollywood. Yo, I'm going to take your records. I'm going to find out who did this and I'm going to do the same thing. You feel me? Business is business. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what y'all think in the comments below. This your boy Gangland Neem. Peace.